Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 19. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to test your website for compatibility against different web browsers. I can't emphasize how important this step is because you're going to have different people that use different web browsers. And if your website doesn't display in some of the mainstream web browsers correctly, then that may create an issue. Uh, for your visitors to your website. So definitely make sure that you check this tutorial out all the way through. If you haven't already, start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, we're going to go to the toolbar to the quick shape options that you see here and it doesn't matter what shape you select, we're just going to draw a few squares or rectangles. We'll give it a few different colors and I'll actually draw another another rectangle, give it another color. And then I'm just going to add some random text. This is some random text in our our website. Okay. And we'll just put it underneath one of the rectangles. It doesn't matter what order you put this in. I'm just kind of putting a pattern together so we can see if it looks the same across all the web browsers that we open up. So once you have a few rectangles and some text and whatever position that you want it on the on the web space in your workspace, uh, go ahead and go to the file option and then look for preview web page. And because we don't have multiple pages, we, we're going to choose that option. If we had a couple pages, we would go to preview website. But since we just have one, let's go to a preview web page and you'll get a menu that pops up and you get a general preview of it from Internet Explorer and it may be different depending on what your default uh, web browser is but in this case since I'm on a Windows computer if you look at the top here it says Internet Explorer preview so right now we're seeing what the website looks like if it were in an Internet Explorer web browser and it looks pretty much the same as what we saw in our document as we were editing uh, this particular website and if you look up in the upper right hand corner you'll see that you have a few options you have the first one which is Chrome then you have Firefox and then you have Internet Explorer Opera and then Safari these are the different web browsers that you can test your website in for compatibility since we've already tested it for this one Internet Explorer we don't need to test it for that one but if you if you want to test these other ones you would click on the icon and if you, and none of these icons are lit up except for Internet Explorer that means you don't have Firefox and Chrome and Opera and Safari installed and if you don't I highly recommend that you at least install this one here Firefox and also Chrome because these are some of the mainstream browsers to test your website in but as I said if you have Internet Explorer and already installed you don't have to click this one because we've already looking at the preview right now so let's go ahead and click on Firefox and see if this website looks the same for the preview as what we have here as you see in Internet Explorer. So once you left click that you should get a screen that pops up and now we're in a website browser for Firefox and you can see that it still looks the exact same all the rectangles are in the proper position and so is the text so no compatibility issues there. Let's go back down to our uh, taskbar here in Windows and click on XR Web Designer 7 bring that back up and you'll see the Chrome option so let's left click on that if you have it installed if you don't have these installed again I highly recommend that you do so you can test and see if your website uh, looks proper when the client visits it so left click on Chrome and let's see if it looks the same takes a couple seconds on my computer okay maybe a little bit longer than a few seconds there we go okay now it's coming up let's see if it looks the same and, uh, okay let's take a little bit longer alright there we are now you can see that in any of those web browsers everything is in the proper position the rectangles are where they should be the text is where it should be so always test your 
your website against these browsers because you want to make sure that they're saying the same thing and I can tell you from experience that sometimes in Internet Explorer it does not display correctly depending on what I'm doing so that's why I highly recommend that you're testing this web browser uh, I mean this website against different web browsers such as Chrome Firefox and Internet Explorer especially if you're selling something if you're selling a product you know imagine that a client comes there and your website looks so horrible you know because the web browser is not displaying it that they decide not to make a purchase well you know that's a pretty big deal and that can affect your business and you don't want that to happen so definitely test your web browser again I mean your website I keep saying web browser test your website against uh, different web browsers such as Firefox Chrome and Internet Explorer so let's go ahead and go back to XAR Web Designer 7 by going to it in your taskbar here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to close this window out by clicking the X key and that's pretty much the end of this tutorial that's how you test for compatibility to make sure that your website works well in all the the mainstream web browsers if you have any questions please send us a message on YouTube especially if you need assistance with installing those different web browsers uh, I can make a separate tutorial on how to do so and give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful and helping you learn something new about XR Web Designer 7 Premium